Hey guys, Mason here, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to sh be showing y'all how to get the glitched teapot. So first, you can, you can basically go to whatever map, but I prefer the arena map because I know where they are. But basically what you gotta do, you gotta look for like these, these like things. But first, actually, let me show y'all. So go ahead, reset your character. I, you gotta go to gifts and you gotta type in unicorn and then click redeem I already redeemed it it will give you these VR goggles you need these VR goggles so click faces faces then click on these VR goggles so yeah you, you need those to scan the things let's go ahead deploy your person yeah shout out to this person for letting me use his VIP server for this and let me use it to get the crown not the crown the glitch teapot so what you want to do is like so you'll spawn maybe on the floor up here just climb up here and just run around and like there's four corners this one that one that one and this one so run around and to the corners until you see this see this it's kind of hard to see. You can only see it with the VR goggles. Go up to it, and you don't click anything. It will automatically scan. So yeah, you want to go up to that. It can be in any one of those corners. So yeah, then just continue running, run around. So go like this. Look at this. Look at both walls because they can be there. So boom. Nope. 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 So yeah, just keep doing this till you find one because there's gonna be one on the back of one of these and one on the wall so you want to make sure that you don't miss it because it might be one you need yeah so basically you're just trying to get four pieces to put into the unicorn see right here this is the unicorn head go ahead and scan that also you might find some upside down ones too and like ones that are backwards you can still collect those, but you can't really use those. So there's no reason to collect them. But you might as well collect them so you don't get confused. Right? Where is this one? Hopefully I can find it soon. I'm pretty sure I searched the whole thing by now. But if you can't find it, that should be fine. Oh, here it is. So yeah, see this one? This one is the unicorn's like back legs, but it's upside down, so that's basically gonna be useless. So now what you wanna do? Go to these, just like jump across them and stuff, and yeah, go over here. You wanna climb up to these to the very top, and right here. So it'll be on one of these ones. It can be on any one. That one, that one, this one, or this one right here. So this one is an upside down wing. So there is, like, no reason to get it. But, yeah. Now, just jump down to one of these poles. There should be one right here. All right. This one is the unicorn head facing the opposite way, so it doesn't really matter. So now, just jump onto the ground. And over, like, by this pillar right here, there's only two of these on the map. This one right here, and that one over there. So, yeah. Go to one of them. And there should be one right here. So this one is the back legs. Also, these ones are random. Like, they they can be a in any of these eight spots that I'm going to show you. But they can be, like, any one. Any one can be, like, the back legs or whatever. So, yeah. Now that you got that one, you want to run in here. Run here and look on the wall. Not on this side. So just run over to the other side. And boom. Here is one right here. It is the front legs. So now we have all of them. But I'm going to show you all where the other one is. So now you just want to basically go back to the middle. Turn this way. Run over here. There should be one right here. Yes. So this one is the unicorn legs facing the other way. So it's basically useless. No reason to get it. So now run across the map over to this one right here 
because it will have a door on the back. Yes. So now just walk up to the door and insert them in this order. Head, wing, front legs, and back legs. Then it's going to load. Yes. Yeah. Then it is going to take you to another game named Operation Unicorn. So yeah. Load into the game. Let, let's turn the volume down. But yeah, this game, because it's probably going to be loud. Then you want to click begin. This game is a single player game. So you can't do this one with any friends. You got to do it all by yourself. So basically, what you want to do is you just want to defeat these zombies. It can be pretty hard. It might make, it might take multiple attempts to do, but you have three lives. So once you die, once you die, it's not going to restart you. Like once you lose a life, it won't restart you to the very beginning. It will just restart that, like that selection. So see, this is the first one right here. Want to run away? Get him. Right. So now, see over here. So right, if I die on this one right here, it will just restart me right here. But once you lose all three lives, it will kick you out of the game and make you like go and collect the unicorns all over again. Be pretty hard. But so I got three lives, but your last life is the most stressful. Alright, so what you want to do, wait for them to get kind of close, run right here, and get them in a giant ball. Then turn around, kill the running ones. Alright, so now you have them in a giant ball. That is good. Just keep running in circles, because they'll they'll follow, follow like your exact path. So run in circles, don't run in like zigzag lines, because then they will be able to hit you. Like this crowd right here. If you accidentally run into it, it will instantly kill you because that is like 10 zombies hitting you at once. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch out for those crawling ones for sure. Alright, now they are going to spawn right over there. So, you probably won't hit a ton of them, but start shooting them from far away because it can save your life. Watch out for those crawling ones for sure. Slowly back up. Also, be careful because they will slowly, like, they will glitch towards you. Yes. Like, they will use their glitching powers to come towards you faster, so don't get too close to them. Now, some random ones are coming. So, let's get rid of them. Alright, quite a bit of running ones. See, this one, you definitely want to start shooting them from far away because there is about, like, 15 running ones all coming at you. And if they get too close to you, then you are definitely going to die. So you want to watch out for those. This should be the last wave right here. So yeah. Pretty easy. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. Let's get them. Um, let's get them. Um, boom, die. Alright. These last few up here. And see, make sure, because look, they are glitching a ton right now. Especially the crawling ones. So don't let them get too close. See this one, he's speeding towards me. Alright, let's get him. Alright, get him. Okay, okay. Now that you completed it, and now you gotta go to the V area to collect the collect the glitched teapot. So yeah, it is that easy. Just go to the V area. You don't have to fight any more zombies. Yeah. You'll see this big white room. You'll think you have to fight more, but you don't. Then you'll see this unicorn up ahead. Yes. Then you'll fall down this hole right here. Boom. And then you can collect it. No boss. No boss or anything. Just collect it and it'll say complete. Yes. Then the badge will pop up at the bottom right. And... You can leave the game, you can check your inventory, and you will have the glitch teapot. And also, if you sit here, it will take you back to the normal normal game in a public server. So yeah, that is all for today. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. 
make sure you jump in and get that glitch teapot right away along with all the other relics so you can be one of the first people to get the um, meta shades meta crown and the metaphones so yeah good goodbye